Hi Aries, this is L here to do your June 2018 general reading. What comes up comes out. Um, I like to say that my website is down, so just email me. I'm trying to fix my scheduling system, so I just shut it down. It was getting too crazy. Um, <clears throat> yes, so it'll be back up probably Monday, Tuesday of next week. Today is the 26th, so um, what, 28th, 29th, something like that. All right, let's get started. All right, okay. So, general energies for Aries. General energy for Aries. Let's do a five card advice spread. You right where you are. Are you on your correct path, Aries? Is Aries on your correct path? What's the main obstacle here? What's helping you? can progress be made okay bottom of the deck the tower Whew. all right so something comes in and someone comes in it might even be some sexual activity I don't know why I, why I just got that and I don't even typically get that anyway something happened somebody's doing something something comes in and just shakes up your foundation you right where you are the Prince of Cups. Nice. So you're offering your cup of emotion. You're offering either an apology, um, the opportunity you're saying to someone or something, I want to invest emotionally. Here's my cup. Where's yours? You know, that's probably the Aries way. <laughs> Are you on your correct path? Eight of Pentacles. If you're not, you're definitely working toward it. Eight of Pentacles says you're working on yourself. This could be new exercise programs, working on your body. I'm trying to make changes. I'm trying to just be the best you. Um, Eight of Pentacles. That's a really good card to have. Um, if asking the question, are you on your right path? What is your main obstacle? The Ten of Cups. Could be family. A lot of family struggles. Okay, I immediately heard some of you want a family. You want that emotional investment. You want that emotional security of a family. Uh, and what's helping you? The four of swords. Some of you are trying to manifest this thing, praying about it, um, going into strategic thought in regards to this ten of cups. Before the four of swords is the three of swords. Some of you are contemplating or have gone through or is going through um, a divorce, separation, breakup practicing caution within this family unit whether it's um a family that you created or it's uh, a family you were born into your immediate family um you definitely looking at things with a more calm and peaceful mindset as to how you can um work through hopefully jump over the five of swords and jump to the six of swords just get to peace calmness and serenity i think that's what you're trying to do i hope that's what you're trying to do how can progress be made four ones nice i uh, work on your stability work on the relationship if you already have one i'm here to work on your stability so whatever that means for you aries and we have eight of pentacles here so we're if this is going back to school for perfecting a craft skill whatever um Work on you is what I'm hearing. The four of wands. Something comes in and shakes up the uh, your foundation. And there is your foundation. Let's see what this is. What is the tower? What is the tower? Whoa. Two of Pentacles, whatever it is, it's got you definitely contemplating. 
which route to go. The Two of Pentacles is on the tower. Definitely in contemplation about where you stand in a certain situation. You have two very real options here. And you're trying to weigh the pros and cons. Some of you are in, involved in a love affair, uh, either knowingly or unknowingly. Uh, some of you are trying to decide if you want to continue down this path. The Ten of Cups. What's the Ten of Cups? Six of Cups. Yeah, definitely family. Someone from the past. Children. Um, your obstacle could be right now your children. Uh, some of you may have adult children, young adults. They might not be doing whatever it is you feel they should be doing. Um, you're trying to strategically think about this and as to how you can maybe help them get back on their right path. Uh, for some of you, you, you want a family life with someone who you deem as a soulmate. Cancer Pisces Scorpio and some of you are dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who already has a family or you want a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and you already have a family but you feel like they're a soulmate four of swords three of wands wow yeah you're in contemplation about what do you do do you leave this partnership behind three of wands and the four of wands and, and or do you um yeah You've done the work, Three of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely third party. Surrounding a relationship. Somebody is getting found out. Let's see. Who's getting found out? Who is getting found out in this Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups type relationship? The Queen of Swords. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is typically Gemini. Could be either air sign. So that's who you could be in relationship with. Um, you may even be on break with them. But you want to work on the relationship. Um, or, or a separation from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The, okay. How does this end? How does this end? Princess of Pentacles, Princess of Cups. I'm not going to take those. Oh my gosh. Okay. Some of my Aries have gone outside of the relationship. It's still very new with this person. You're bored and discontented, or there's a level of discontentment in your current situation. There might even be problems. This could be a second marriage or a second relationship. There's problems in the marriage. Uh, it could maybe due to a third party, co codependency, addictions, obsession. If it is the, like third party and addictions and so forth, it's going to be illuminated. For some of you, you might try to get victory over it. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with the water sign cancers here. Um, that's going to be illuminated. Or, you know, cancer may have a third party in what they're doing may be illuminated to you you know um that's pretty much the outcome looks like that's what happens with that tower card somebody is getting found out or has been found out okay okay so i get a lot of is my ex coming back you know people want to know that we're going to do a three card yes or no spread okay the middle card if it's reverse no not coming back if the middle card is up then yes they're coming back the 
this Aries X coming back, the collective Aries. For those who want the X back, I get a lot of that. A lot of emails, a lot of comments. Let's see, is the X coming back? X coming back. There's our middle card. The two cards on the side will tell us the reasons why. No, page of pentacles in reverse. For those who ask the question, no, the X is not coming back with the page of pentacles in reverse. There will be no message of um, getting back together and trying to start something new. Maybe with the queen of cups, she's in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, typically cancer. Um, Maybe because this, post, this person is emotionally not stable right now. There might be some things going on with them. The world is here. Yeah, this is a cycle ending in their life. It's a chapter closing. Um, so, no. They're not coming back just yet. And it might, be, it might not be permanent. It's just that they're not coming back right now. So, that's that. Let's do some career and finance. <clears throat> Three card spread. Career and finance messages for Aries. Thank you for blessing. Blessing Aries with the messages for career and finance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Diamond. Nice. A new start uh, in wealth. Um, this could be engagement. This could be a, a new way of making money, a new job, a, a large purchase, getting that loan um, approved for whatever business, home. It's just, a, and then the Eight of Hearts is under it. That talks about visitors in the home. Also, um, walking away from something emotional. Queen of Swords, she's a seeker of truth, she's strategic, she's intelligent. Ace of Spades, how can I forget that? Um, death card, something's ending, something's beginning. Transformation here. Some of you may have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Six of Clubs, nice. Success in business, help in your business. If you don't have a business then it's helping your career it's success in your career something's completely transforming for you that is some beautiful energy aries um so for those who are worried about career it's going very well for you all right let's get three cards of advice and then let's get out of here because it's looking pretty good all right three cards of advice for aries So we have four. Leaving. Parental care. Adult children. Yeah, I saw it. Self-care. So in that first spread, children were highlighted. Like you're something's going on with your children and you don't like it or it's not favorable. Parental care. It might be that you just need to enact or you know, um, some more parental uh care uh supervision supervision um though they're adult children you still need to mother or father um as 
as uh, best as you can, of course, because they're adults and they may even be young adults and still asking for money and still living in your house, still eat your food. Um, but they're still children and you need to, there's something going on here and they may hold the answer to something. Um, leaving, this could be so many different things. Some of you are moving, some of you are leaving a job, a relationship. We had the two of pentacles. We had, um, what, did we have eight of cups? Yeah, eight of hearts. We had so, I mean, this could be so many different things. You have to apply it to your situation. If you know you're leaving something, then here are the cards, you know, co-signing that for you. Um, some of you could be moving. Just to, just to move. It's a old simple move, you know. It doesn't have to be leaving a relationship or leaving a job. It just be moving. Self-care. You need to worry about yourself. Put some time into yourself. You're too concerned about everything and everyone else. Where you're forgetting about self. What do you do to relax? What do you do to unwind? Do that more. Self-care. All right. So, Aries, if this resonated with you, please like, 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 share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, request a personal reading right now by emailing me uh, Monday, Tuesday of the, the 28th, 29th, somewhere in there um, of May. I will have my website back up and you'll be able to book online right now. It's email. Okay. And all information is below in the description box. I think every question you can ask me from pricing to how long it takes is there okay so Aries remember when in doubt pray I am praying for you guys pray for me as well I'll see you in your June mid monthly take care